Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Understanding Martial Arts Trigger. In today's episode, we will be going over the topic, Hyper. Hyper, an addition which can be made to either a hook or round kick landing, whereby the kick is completed in air, creating an additional 180 degrees of rotation. There are three basic conditions when performing a hypered kick. Condition number one. The kick must be completed in the air, i.e. strike the imaginary target before the trick is landed. Condition number two. An additional 180 degrees of area rotation is added after the kick strikes its target. There's an exception to this rule with the whack knife and the feyron. Condition number three. Though not a must when performing a hyper kick, the hyper concept allows for the practitioner to land the trick on the kicking leg, aka true hyper. Now, let's take a non hyper kick and see how we can transform it into a hyper kick. Let's use a basic kick, the pop 180 round. The pop 180 round is performed by starting backside, jumping 180 degrees, and firing either a round or inside pressing kick. Notice that when the practitioner fires the kick, his non-kicking leg lands facing front side, giving him 180 degrees of total aerial rotation. Now let's explore the three basic hypers. Transformation number one. Hyper. A pop 180 hyper round starts identical to the 180 round, only this time the practitioner rotates all the way back to backside while still in the air. Notice that the practitioner finishes the kick while in the air rotates 180 degrees and lands on both feet facing backside. This gives him 360 degrees of true aerial rotation. Transformation number two. True Hyper. Notice that everything about the kick remains basically the same. Only this time, the practitioner lands on the kicking leg. This is the true Hyper, as opposed to just a regular Hyper. Transformation number three. Hyper style. Notice that everything about this kick is basically the same. He's jumping, rotating 180 degrees, firing the kick, rotating another 180 degrees, only this time he's landing on the non-kicking leg. This gives us the hyper style landing. Now, let's see how we can transform another non-hyper basic. This time, the pop 180 hook. This trick is performed when the performer takes off from a front side stance, rotates 180 degrees, and fires a hook kick. Notice that when he fires the kick, the other foot lands facing backside. Even though he finishes by rotating all the way back to front side, that 180 degree rotation is done on the ground, and therefore it is not a hyper kick. Now, let's explore the three ways we could hyper this kick. Transformation number one. Hyper. A pop 180 hyper hook starts identical to the pop 180 hook, only this time the practitioner rotates all the way back to front side while still in the air. This gives him 360 degrees of true aerial rotation. Notice that he finishes the kick while in the air, rotates 180 degrees, then lands on both feet facing front side. Transformation number two. True hyper. Again, this kick is identical to the Pop 180 Hyper Hook, only this time, the practitioner lands on the kicking leg. Transformation number three, Hyper Style. This kick is basically the same as both the Hyper and the True Hyper versions, only this time, after he kicks, he rotates 180 degrees and lands facing front side on the non-kicking leg. Now, let's check out our practitioner as he demonstrates some fancy dancy hyper kicks using various takeoffs. Thank you for watching another episode of Understanding Martial Arts Tricking. Remember, train safe, train hard, have fun.